Welcome to my talk on robust density aware calibration. Neural network based systems are being increasingly deployed in the real world. In such practical settings, the models must yield not only high accuracy, but also be reliable by yielding a good understanding of their own uncertainty, especially when faced with corrupted data or out of distribution scenarios. This is particularly important for ensuring the safety of critical applications like autonomous driving or in medical settings. Although current state-of-the-art calibration methods exhibit effective calibration with their designed domains, they fall short in accurately estimating uncertainty scores under domain shifts and for OOD scenarios. To address this gap in calibration performance, we propose a method that can easily be added to existing approaches, thereby enhancing OOD calibration performance as seen in the right figure. By incorporating our proposed technique into the existing methods, our aim is to improve uncertainty estimation in out-of-distribution scenarios and during domain shifts. We propose DAC an accuracy preserving as well as density aware calibration method based on k-nearest neighbors. It is a fully backbone agnostic method which can directly be added to any existing poster calibration pipeline. First of all, that can be combined with any existing post hoc method. Secondly, in contrast to existing post hoc methods who utilize hidden layers of classifiers as a, second, as a source for uncertainty related information and study their importance. Lastly, DAC is a post hoc method and therefore does not require any training of the underlying classifier. Our main idea for proposing calibration methods stems from the fact that test samples lying in high density regions of the empirical training distribution can generally be predicted with higher confidence than samples lying in low density regions. For the latter case, the network has seen very few if any training samples in the neighborhood of the respective test sample in feature space and is thus not able to provide reliable predictions for those samples. Leveraging this information about density through a proxy can result in better calibration. In order to estimate such a proxy for each sample, we propose to utilize non-parametric density estimation using k-nearest neighbor based on feature embeddings extracted from the classifier. Due to our focus on K and N, DAC is density aware and domain agnostic. Our DAC method uses linear regression to aggregate density information from different layers. First, we estimate a density proxy by calculating the distance between a test sample to nearby training samples in feature space via K and N. We repeat this process for different layers in the underlying classifier and combine them via linear combination, which we optimize via linear regression. The resulting proxy, which can also be called temperature, is used to scale the logits and thus the resulting probability distribution. Optimizing is done with mean squared error loss. When DAC is combined with various state-of-the-art postdoc models, calibration performance can be improved drastically. On the left, we demonstrate how DAC improves calibration performance, especially when corruption severity of the test dataset is increased. In the table on the right, we take a closer look at the relative improvement of DAC versus state-of-the-art calibration methods. DAC boosts the robustness of calibration performance in domain shift scenarios and especially in OD scenarios, while at the same time maintaining in-domain calibration. To summarize, DAC is backbone agnostic and can be combined with existing postdoc methods. It boosts calibration performance in domain shift scenarios while conserving in-domain calibration performance at the same time. Our experiments show that hidden layers in classifiers carry valuable information for accurately predicting uncertainty estimates. Thank you for taking the time and for listening to my presentation. And if you want, take a look into our paper.